right, everyone, take 10, take 10. That was just the Kid Time Story Time Orchestra. We have an orchestra? Why, well, yes, Farrah Fox, isn't everybody? Anyway, uh, I was just gonna say that the season of spring has oftentimes inspired great music. Ah, oh, yes, like Vivaldi's Spring, Tchaikovsky's Waltz of the Flowers, and Beethoven's Pastoral Symphony. Olivia the Ostrich, so learned in all things musical. But did you ever stop to consider that maybe great music could inspire spring to begin? Oh, it makes perfect sense to me. Me too. Uh, how so, ladies? Well, in my world of experience, upon the greatest stages. Oh, that sounds so impressive already. Well, let me tell you, Vera Fox, that I have seen great music inspire people. So why not inspire a whole season? It inspires me to do this. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So let's see if great music has been inspired by the coming of spring. Can great music inspire spring to come? We are about to find out in the first notes of spring. Ring a ding a ding ding. Hummy hummy. Auditions today, first notes. Oh, I must go warm up. La 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 la. Every year, after many months of cold and snow, the first notes of spring musicians melted winter away with their melodies. Oh, so it's the first notes of spring musicians, so it's a, a group, and the auditions are at 6 a.m. for the first notes, and it looks like we have the star of our book right here, an adorable little skunk, who is getting ready. And let's see, what else do we see here in the house besides a fabulous bathroom? Oh, a little encouragement note left on the mirror, as we often do. And it says, you got this. And beats. So maybe, maybe our person is a drummer of some kind. This year, Juniper was ready to join them. And now we know our girl is named Juniper. So let's say hello. Hi, Juniper. Hi, Juniper. Oh, and look at that. That's my cousin Liam. What? That's your cousin right there? Yep. He's a great musician, you know. I did not know. <laughs> now this year, Juniper is ready to join the orchestra that Farrah Fox's cousin is in, Liam. And let's see, the flautists are warming up. And let's see, the moose is clearly the director. We have the string section warming up as well. With strong sticks, a thumpity toadstool, and rowdy rhythms, our juniper marched right up to Mr. Moose. Ah, oh, she's ready to audition, just grabbing the bull by the horns, or the moose by the horns, so to speak. But, but, when she played, Boomy boom boom, boomy boom boom, boomy boom boom, boomy boom boom. Mr. Moose oh, plugged his ears, shook his antlers, and groaned. Oh, 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 that's all wrong. You need to sound like this. And then the notes began. <laughs> Whistled the flutes, hum, sang the strings, and the little keys played with a ringy ring ring. A ringy ring ring, ringy ringy ring. ring. I, I can't do that, said Juniper. Woo, boomy boomy boom, hum, boomy boom. Woo, hummy boomy boom, hum, hum, boom boom. Ringy ring ring, boomy boom boom. Ringy ring ring, boomy boom boom. I mean, it's an interesting combination. Oh, no, this does not look like a face or a stance of approval. Is, is, is he saying to, like, go? Is, is that what's happening here? Too fast, too loud, too wild, said Mr. Moose. Spring will not bloom to such a ruckus. Auditions are over. Oh, excuse me, sir. Over. Okay, we heard you. 
And everybody's, I guess, just taking five, taking a break. Auditions are, are, are over, unfortunately. But, well, take a quick look with me, will you? Because you know how we always look at the pictures because the pictures are sometimes telling us another part of the story that the words aren't? And I see something. If spring will not bloom, according to Mr. Moose, because of her playing, why is the snow beneath her feet starting to melt? Hmm? Because let's just take it back for a second, shall we? Let's see. There it's green, and here, where everybody else is playing, it's still snowy. But I see patches of grass here. And look, there, were, there was more snow, but some of the grass was showing up there before. And, and let's see, let's go back all the way to the beginning of the audition. Yes, yes, I knew it. Look at that, it was completely covered in snow. And then as she started playing, there was a little bit more green and then a lot more green. I think Moose is sort of just so freaked out about the nouveau sound that he's missing what's happening here. Juniper dragged her drum away. She had never felt so quiet. Do not disturb. Rehearsal in session. And she's not in rehearsal. And the other woodland creatures are like, oh no. Ooh, ooh. And then tap a tap, tap a tap, tap a tap. Who's that? Juniper tiptoed forward and found tap a tap, tap a tap. <gasps> Holly drumming on a tree. Oh, what are you doing? asked Juniper. Looking for bugs, said Holly. That's a found sound. Can I play too? So Juniper tapped her sticks. Let's get faster! So they combined their sounds. Tap a tap, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, boomy boom boom. I think we should join them. Let's do it together. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Tap a tap. Boomy boom boom, tap a tap, boomy boom boom, tap a tap, boomy boom boom, tap a tap, boomy boom boom. They played together until they heard a clap a clap, clap a clap, clap a clap, and found what's going on over here? <gasps> Darby slapping the ice. What are you doing? asked Juniper. Fixing my fort, said Darby. That's a fun sound. Mind if we join? Juniper clapped her toadstool. Let's get louder. You ready to get louder? Tap a tap, clap a clap, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, clap a clap, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, clap a clap, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, clap a clap, boomy boom boom. They paraded through the forest until they heard thumpity thump. What? Thumpity thump. And found. Dash! Hey, Dash! Stomping the ground! Oh, uh, what are you doing? asked Juniper. Sending messages to my friends, said Dash. Oh, the underground friends! Look at that! There's Mom and her rollers and her bunny slippers and all the kids. And, oh, give him a little privacy. Oh, that sounds fun! Want to play together? Juniper hopped and spun. Let's get wilder! Oh, now we're going from getting louder to getting wilder. Are you feeling the rhythm? Because I think that they need our help. Tap a tap, clap a clap, thumpity thump, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, clap a clap, thumpity thump, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, clap a clap, thumpity thump, boomy boom boom. Tap a tap, clap a clap, thumpity thump, boomy boom boom. In all of this excitement, did you see what's happening? Look at how green everything is. This entire rhythm section is just melting the snow and calling up the flowers to start blooming everywhere. Their sound rattled the trees. It shook snow off the branches. It awoke every sleeper in every den. Even the bears who hibernate are up and the deer and the rabbits there and the whole rhythm section is there. And, oh, look who's peeking around the bush there. Juniper's heart pounded with pride. Look what we did! And everybody cheered. <sighs> we are the first beats of spring. Oh, yes. 
they created their own group, the first Beats of Spring, which really would go well with the first notes of Spring if they could figure out a way to play it together. I don't know, will they ever? I don't know. Mr. Moose gasped. <gasps> I never knew Spring could wake up with such a bang. He lowered his antlers. Mm, the flowers are still sleeping, said Juniper. We could use some woos, hums, and rings to help us wake them. Oh, so she's proposing maybe a collab? Juniper led the beats. Mr. Moose led the notes with Liam, Fair Fox's cousin. And together they welcomed spring. And here we go. Kids Time Story Time Orchestra, let's go. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three.